Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with a word from the Lord. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your rhema, God. We need it in this hour and we thank you that it is going to give us everything we need and it will not return to you void. In Jesus name, amen. All right, let me pray that God's word sets out, um, does what it sets out to do. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I, I received a simple word from the Lord as I was pulling into my driveway today. Um, I could see the sun setting and the sun has looked very bright to me lately. I mean, very bright. And the clouds look very different too. They almost look painted like stippled or something. Um, I don't know if that's the right word, but the sun has been very, very, very bright. Even in the morning, sometimes the sun looks like midday sun. So like, yeah, um, the word that the Lord gave me as I was pulling into the driveway, because I was asking him about the sun, I was like, why does it look like that? And um, it was very beautiful. And he said this, he said, um, the sun is setting. And so I was like, okay. And, but the way he said it, it was not like it's just setting. He, it was like relaying in my spirit that it was setting on this present age. And he said something like this to me before. Um, I want to say it was like last year or so. I had a dream where the sun was setting for a long period of time during the dream. And I, I was driving or riding in the car and looking out the window and I could see the trees passing and the sun was like setting very slowly and I was watching it as it was going down and the today the Lord said the sun is setting so yeah that was what he said um and you know you can take it to the Lord in prayer however to to let him let you know what this means exactly but I will be um attaching the dream that I had um that coincides with the sun setting um on this present age actually um I want to say it was about a year ago so all right you guys let's go ahead and pray dear Lord Jesus bless your people help them to understand what you mean by the sun is setting, Lord God, on this present age and and help us to all walk and act as if the sun is setting, Lord. Help us to work while it is still day, Lord God, for night is coming when no man can work. Bless your people. Help us to take it seriously. Help us to not squander your word. Help us to not throw our pearls to the swine, Lord God, but help us to do your will and your work, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, let's um, just pray this prayer with me. But more than saying the words to the prayer, really truly and honestly believe them as you confess them with your mouth dear lord jesus we ask you to come into our hearts we make you our lord and savior jesus i believe you died on the cross and i believe you rose again on the third day so that i can be saved thank you lord jesus forgive me of all my sins they are many sit on the throne of my heart i've let myself for long enough i'm asking you to lead me thank you lord jesus in your name i pray jesus amen all right if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer and you've confessed it with your mouth then the holy spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption and no one can break that seal except jesus himself um, when he comes to redeem his church but the holy spirit is in you from this point on and he is going to lead you and guide you into all truth so he's going to show you the way he's going to help you in all your decision making everything from how 
how to raise your children to which bank account to choose. <laughs> he will lead you and guide you into all truth. So um, the, the Jesus wanted us to forsake not the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another, meaning that he wanted us to come together and fellowship with each other so that we can stay sharp in his words. So the Holy Spirit is going to help you, lead you and guide you in to exactly where you need to go to do that as well as where you can go and be baptized because this was something that Jesus said that we should do as well as you know finding a church home to be a part of so yes the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth he will show you where to go what to do in those aspects but one of the easiest ways to learn the voice of the holy spirit and discern the voice of the holy spirit is to sit down with his word chew on his word talk through his word ask him questions about his word and then learn how to sit and be quiet and wait for an answer he's going to answer you and he's not going to hold back so just diligently seek him and wait right learn how to wait on the lord and he's you're going to learn what his voice sounds like all right you guys may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace take care